Hello my fellow YouTubers. This is Roy again. Today we're going to talk about um, this top section here on Ed Scallon's wheel. Um, I put these bolts in and these are the bolts that go in between the V-shaped magnets. And then I also put these bolts in and these are the ones that hold down the um, the top clove ring that we'll be assembling on another video. So uh, for you guys out there who are building your, your system, uh, a couple things we'll go over real quick. Uh, here, um, you got your motor block, got your flywheel, got your center hub here, had a pre-drill, put these bolts in place here. Um, what you're going to have to do is uh, lay out um, this bottom gear ring and you'll notice that on this ring here there's holes already and you see some holes are bigger it is because I just uh, that hole was regular but I think I made it bigger no that's the same size I made these bigger and that's your eight bolts that go around the outside here so um, a couple things that I'd like to talk about would be uh, is um, right now uh, I just checked all these magnets here. These are going to be the base buildup of the five, stacking them five deep. I just charged all the, all the magnets. And out here I'll show you I got um, enough of the magnets out there. These are all fully charged. They all got a great charge to them you know they're strong um, also here I used uh, Edlius Gallon's perpetual motion holder to charge them and um, another thing while we're here talking about this uh, pretty much uh, for you guys who haven't seen it this is a regular bar magnet inch and a half stock uh, it really doesn't stick um, just regular soft iron but if you connect the battery cables to the battery and then if you take that bar, stick it over to it, it becomes a field magnet and it sticks on there. And you can't pull that off right now. It's got a lot of energy. So I come back over here, undo the battery and she's on there. So... Um, this guy right here, we're going to use this as our switch for running Edley Scallon's uh, perpetual motion generator. Um, pretty much is what it's going to be doing. Uh, when we have the wheel turning on its own, this will be connected like it is right there. When uh, And these coils will be redone and we'll connect the coils to the system inside, to the motor. Um, when we want to turn off the motor, we just go ahead and separate that bar and um, pretty much uh, we're going to use it like a switch. Once you get this charged up, you can use the energy inside of it, pulling them out of the coils, and you can do a lot of things with it. So back to the magnets, all charged up, ready to go. Let's go back over here. Got my ground pole about three feet in the ground and I got an angle iron coming out I'll show you why we have that and what we're going to do with it and here on the wheel itself uh, I'm going to go ahead and start stacking these five high I did check these to make sure north and south every one is in its right place and that's what you're going to need to do you get two in between makes a total of 24 um, uh, so check them because what I'm going to do next is take that top ring, sit it on place here, and then I'm going to slide in four more magnets. And, um, and then I'm going to put a top coat of uh, paper to isolate the, uh, uh, the motor block from the magnets. And uh, then put the ring, of course, squeeze them in. So all eight of these will be squeezed in, and then I'll start sliding stacks of magnets. And you'll just make sure they all coincide with North, south, north, south. Um, just for a little tidbit for you guys out there, 
Uh, I like this. This is a great project right here. This is going to run. Uh, when you start doing all the math and all the calculations, you can see that pretty much uh, you just have to understand how things work here. And I'm going to show you just a little tidbit of a little drawing that I did just uh, earlier. And pretty much um, this here is the uh, motor block. And the uh, top part of the crankshaft is north. The bottom of the crankshaft is south, so that means we're going to create a magnetic force, and we're going to go around, and it's going to go around tight to the pole, and then work its way out. And then on the top wheel, what we're going to do is we're going to treat this like it's the earth on its axis. <clears throat> and treat this like it's the earth spinning on its axis. And at that point, what we're going to do is we're going to use these uprights to take the magnetic field that's spinning around. And what we're going to do is use centrifugal, centrifugal force and what we're going to do is, as your typical force throws out the magnetic field particles outside because the wheel is spinning, it's also going to go back to the bottom here and it's going to take in the energy uh, and, and work its way through. And pretty much from there, uh, what we're going to do on the top to create this pyramid, we're going to use these uprights to take the magnetic field and create these north-south, north-south, north-south polars like, like they would be sort of like an atom where you have your positive and negative running around a neutral and uh, once you find point all this energy that I'm going to build up in this block as a capacitor to a one focal point. It's going to go ahead and release. It's going to hit the top here of this ground. And what we're going to do is collapse the system. And then we're going to recharge the system. And it's probably going to do it, I don't know the calculations yet, but I would assume it's going to be about 60 times a second. That it's going to build up, collapse, build up and collapse and what we're going to create is just like a kid on a swing we're going to push them in the beginning it's going to be hard that's us turning the wheel and then secondly what we're going to do is we're going to create the collapse and the build up and it's going to uh, take the magnetic fields and we're going to make sure that the fields are all facing the right way on the inside um, we're going to put a coil around here um, and that's the way to create the magnetic field to create this big gigantic like a bar magnet and we're going to take the spinning magnets and we're going to turn them around like a whole circle and we're going to create this pyramid with several loops of magnets of, of magnetic field uh, joining together to uh, balance out all the forces and it'll keep this thing running. So anyway, you guys have a good day. Uh, I'll come back and see you guys on the next video and we'll have this built up a little further and then we'll start, we'll start talking about uh, how to put this all together and then uh, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to connect and uh, I understand it now. So I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Thank you.